Could digging millions of tons of sand beneath a river truly change the course of history? What if I told you that China accomplished exactly that? In just eight years, China transformed the Pearl River region with an engineering marvel that included underwater tunnels, artificial islands, and futuristic bridges. This project didn't just connect two cities. It reshaped economies, inspired global innovation, and set new standards for infrastructure. Let's dive into how China pulled off this incredible feat and why it matters to the world. The vision connecting Shenzhen and Zhongshan. In 2016, China launched one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects ever conceived. The goal was to connect Shenzhen, a global tech hub, with Zhongshan, a growing industrial city. The challenge? The Pearl River, a massive waterway that separated the two cities, making travel time-consuming and inefficient. The existing routes were congested, with bridges and detours adding hours to travel times. This bottleneck hindered economic growth, logistics, and the daily lives of millions. China's solution was audacious. Build a direct link using bridges, artificial islands, and the world's longest underwater highway tunnel. The project began with massive dredging operations. Millions of tons of sand were excavated from the riverbed to create foundations for the artificial islands and tunnel. Engineers faced powerful currents, typhoons, and deep, muddy riverbeds, but they pressed on with determination and cutting-edge technology, building the impossible artificial islands and underwater tunnels. The project included two artificial islands and a three-mile-long underwater tunnel. The islands served as connection points between the bridges and the tunnel, while the tunnel itself was designed to withstand the river's strong currents and environmental pressures. The eastern island, near Shenzhen's airport and the Western Island Mid-River were constructed using advanced techniques. Steel cylinders were driven into the riverbed to create stable foundations and underwater 3D printers laid concrete efficiently, minimizing environmental damage. The tunnel was built using massive concrete tubes, each weighing 80,000 tons, heavier than an aircraft carrier. A floating factory transported these tubes to their precise locations, where they were carefully lowered into place. The tunnel featured state-of-the-art safety systems, including adaptive lighting, emergency navigation, and maintenance robots. The bridges, defying nature's fury. The Pearl River is notorious for its powerful currents and frequent typhoons. Engineers had to design bridges that could withstand winds of over 180 miles per hour, stronger than a Category 5 hurricane. Specialized towers, nearly as tall as 90-story buildings, form the backbone of the bridges. A smart construction machine automated much of the building process, reducing construction time by 50% and improving safety. Crash barriers were rigorously tested, and the road surface used epoxy asphalt for durability. The bridges not only survived the region's harsh weather, but also became symbols of engineering excellence. They reduced travel time between Shenzhen and Zhongshan from two hours to just 30 minutes, transforming the region's economy. The environmental impact, balancing progress and preservation. Environmentalists worried about the project's impact on the Pearl River's ecosystem. Dredging millions of tons of sand and building artificial islands could disrupt marine habitats and water quality. Engineers used eco-friendly construction methods, such as steel cylinders for island foundations and underwater 3D printing to minimize waste. Marine biologists monitored water quality and wildlife, and measures were taken to restore disrupted habitats. While some ecological changes were inevitable, the project also reduced pollution by cutting traffic congestion. The debate continues over whether the environmental trade-offs were justified, but the project set a new standard for sustainable infrastructure, economic transformation, a region reborn. The new route unleashed an economic boom. Shenzhen, already a tech powerhouse, attracted even more foreign investment, while Zhongshan saw unprecedented growth. Factories, research centers, and businesses flourished, creating jobs and boosting living standards. Rapid growth brought rising property prices and strained public services. Local governments had to expand schools, hospitals, and transportation networks to keep up with demand. The project demonstrated how infrastructure investments could transform regional economies. It became a model for other cities and countries looking to boost growth through connectivity. Global influence, a new standard for infrastructure, 
the Shenzhen Zhongshan Project captured global attention. Countries around the world sent teams to study China's innovative techniques, from underwater 3D printing to smart construction robots. The project showcased China's engineering prowess and reinforces position as a global leader in infrastructure. It also boosted the Belt and Road Initiative, encouraging more countries to partner with China on large-scale projects. Some skeptics warn that China's infrastructure projects could create dependency and debt for partner nations. Others question whether such massive undertakings were sustainable in the long term. The human cost, sacrifices behind the scenes. Thousands of workers endured grueling conditions, from scorching heat to dangerous underwater environments. Divers risked their lives in murky waters, while others faced displacement due to automation. Safety protocols and advanced technology reduced risks, but the human toll remained significant. Workers took pride in their contributions, but questions lingered about whether enough was done to protect their well-being. The project highlighted the need to balance technological progress with humane labor practices, ensuring that workers' rights and safety are prioritized. The legacy, a blueprint for the future. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Corridor transformed the Pearl River region, boosting economies, reducing travel times, and inspiring global innovation. It proved that ambitious infrastructure projects could deliver tangible benefits. China is already planning even more ambitious projects, from high-speed railways to intercontinental transportation corridors. The success of the Pearl River project has set the stage for future developments. The project has redefined what's possible in infrastructure. Inspiring countries to rethink their own approaches, it serves as a reminder that with vision, innovation, and determination, even the most daunting challenges can be overcome. Conclusion: A new era of infrastructure. China's Pearl River project wasn't just about building bridges and tunnels; it was about reshaping the future. It showed the world that infrastructure could be more than functional; it could be transformative, sustainable, and inspiring. As other nations look to replicate the success, one question remains: Will they rise to the challenge, or will China's achievement remain a singular symbol of what's possible? As the world watches, inspired and sometimes skeptical, one thing is clear: infrastructure is more than just concrete and steel. It's about shaping economies, transforming lives, and pushing the boundaries of human achievement. Will other nations follow suit? Or will this remain a testament to China's unparalleled ambition? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think projects like this are the future of global development? And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the most ambitious engineering feats of our time, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a story about the innovations shaping our world.